to prepare a stained temporary mount of onion peel. Human cheek cells and to record observations and draw their labelled diagrams. Cell is a structural and functional unit of all living organisms. A plant cell consists of cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, a large vacuole, a nucleus and a number of plastids. The nucleus lies at the periphery of cytoplasm and vacuole is located in centre. Presence of large vacuole and cell wall confirms that cells of onion peel are plant cells. Animal cells lack cell wall and prominent vacuole. In these cells, a semi-permeable membrane called cell membrane surrounds the cytoplasm. In comparison to plant cell, animal cell cytoplasm is dense and occupies larger space. Vacuoles are absent or very small in size. The position of nucleus is usually central. Cheek cells are the part of squamous epithelium. They are thin and flat cells. They are found arranged like pavement tiles, that is, arranged end to end. Ma'am, how can we prepare a stained temporary mound of onion peel and human cheek cell? A large amount of rectangular cells forming a distinct cell wall can be observed to mount onion peel. Many flat, oval or irregular cells are seen to mount human cheek cells. Let's do an experiment to prepare a stained temporary mount of onion peel and human cheek cell. Our aim here is to prepare a stained temporary mount of onion peel Materials required are onion, plain slides, cover slip, watch glass, needles, forceps, brush, blade, safranin, blotting paper, distilled water, glycerin and compound microscope. Procedure Take a piece of fleshy scaly leaf of an onion and with the help of forceps, Gently pull a thin transparent peel from its lower surface. The peel is actually the epidermal layer of scaly leaf. Keep the peel in water in a watch glass. Add few drops of saffron in stain to the watch glass to stain the peel. Keep it for a few minutes. Now transfer the peel to a glass slide with the help of forceps and cut it into appropriate size. Remove excess stain with the help of a blotting paper. Add a drop of glycerine over the peel and put a cover slip gently with the help of a needle. Care should be taken to avoid entry of air bubbles. Mounting should be done in the center of the slide. Press the cover slip gently to spread the glycerine evenly. Wipe the excess glycerine with the help of blotting paper. Examine the slide under a low power microscope and then under a high power microscope. Observations A large number of rectangular cells forming a distinct cell wall can be observed. Cytoplasm is seen towards the periphery of the cell as a thin layer of deep colored substance on the inner surface of cell wall. A big central vacuole is present in cell. A deeply stained round body called nucleus is seen in each cell. Result The epidermal peel of onion comprises of rectangular shaped cells. Each cell comprises of a nucleus, a central vacuole, thin layer of cytoplasm and cell wall. Precautions Always take a clean slide and hold it by its edges to avoid making the slide dirty. Peel should be properly stained. Avoid under or excess staining of peel. Always transfer the peel with the help of a brush. Mounting of peel should be done in center of slide and avoid folding of peel. Remove extra glycerin with the help of blotting paper. Avoid entry of air bubbles while placing the cover slip. Temporary mount of human cheek cells. Our aim here is to prepare a stained
temporary mount of human cheek cells and to record observations and draw their labeled diagrams. Materials required are slide, cover slip, needle, blotting paper, sterilized toothpicks, glycerine, 0.9% NaCl solution, dropper, fresh water, methylene blue, watch glass, compound microscope. Procedure Rinse your mouth to remove any food particles. With the help of sterilized toothpick, scrap the inner side of cheek to get some cells. Place it in a drop of water over a clean slide. Spread it with needle over the slide. Add a drop of methylene blue over the slide. Wait for 2 minutes and then remove extra stain with a blotting paper. Add a drop of glycerine on the slide. With the help of needles, gently place the cover slip over the slide. Observe the slide under microscope. Observations Large number of flat polygonal cells with irregular boundaries attached edge to edge are seen. The cells have thin membrane called cell membrane which encloses jelly-like substance called cytoplasm with nucleus. Result Cells under observation do not have cell wall and large prominent vacuole. Precautions Scrap the cheek cells gently with the help of clean toothpick to avoid infection or injury. Always rinse the mouth before scrapping by a tissue so as to remove any food particles from mouth. Place cover slip gently to avoid entry of air bubbles. Remove extra glycerine with the help of blotting paper. Spread the scrapping so that Cells are properly distributed. Thank you, ma'am. You have given a great knowledge through this experiment.